Legion.com. Skate and Eric here today to show you the latest release of Photo Director 4 from Cyberlink. Uh, they have a lot of new features with this one. Um, a lot of the same old, just improved on features. So if you want to see all the older features, I uh, advise you to watch my last video, read the last review I did on that because they're pretty much the same. Some are just a little improved. What I'm going to be going over is just the brand new features that they have. Now first is just more of a sorting type thing. Uh, they, they have, just like you saw with you know Facebook, MySpace, all that stuff, the facial tagging, uh, facial recognition. Uh, we can do that now with this to kind of organize your photos. So I'll just do a quick demonstration. I will take a stock photo, say this lady here. They have a button down here, tag faces. What it'll do is it'll read the photo, tag the face, and then what you can do is add a new person. So we'll just call her Lady. And under here, there's faces. So now, if I go through, like, see, here's another photo of her. I can tag the face again and add her to Lady. So now I have, if I go under this, just her under those two. Now the next tool I'll be showing you is the HDR effect. Uh, it just takes high contrast scenes, turns it into HDR images for stylization with tonal adjustments. So if we take say this stock photo, what we'll do, go under the adjustment tab. If you scroll the side thing there, you'll see there's the HDR effect. And then you can just increase strength of the glow, radius, balance here, and then you have edges as well. Looks like it just sharpens the image a lot more. Just an, another way to stylize your image. So the next tool I'm going to show you is the chromatic aberration. What it does is it takes uh, the colors and the unnecessary fringes on the edges of things you take in pictures and it it'll try to correct those for you as you can see from this mountain scene if we zoom in right here on the edge there's a red glow if we if you scroll down under the corrections tab you'll see there's chromatic aberration here if I were to take this slider because it is red and we move it in a little bit you'll see that red just disappears completely same thing if you have blue lines, things like that. Those those little edges, those little things you get on the the edges of of buildings and stuff like that. You can use this new tool to kind of even that out or get rid of it completely. Okay, now the next tool I'm going to show you is the content aware removal. This will intelligently uh, fill the background and take objects out of your picture. Uh, if you watched the last time I did it, it was more manual with their patch tool. This one is automatic. So if we hit the content aware removal, you have the brush settings or you can do it based off edges or rounding automatic type settings. You can select your brush size here and add and remove. So I want to get rid of these sandals here. So I'm going to select the sandals and the shadow on the sandals because I don't want those shadows either. There we go and then I will hit the apply button. Sometimes it'll get it the first time, sometimes it won't. You can always retry. So as you can see it got looks like a corner of there. So it didn't get the first time. Keep doing it. See when it gets it. Nice thing is it'll try something new each time. So there you go. On the third try I got it. And You can keep going if this didn't look right for you. If it looks a little off um, you know, you can keep trying and see what what it comes out with, but it'll keep it'll keep doing it for you. Okay, so the last tool I'm going to show you, the new tool is the body shaper. Um, this is kind of like where you see the professional airbrushing um, on magazines, things like that. Uh, this is does the same thing, a little easier. Um, what it'll do is do body shaping and contours. So I'll just run through each of these really quick to kind of give you. A demonstration of how they work. So the first one here is a forward warping tool. This is kind of to expand areas, pull them out a little bit. So just to kind of show you on her arm here, this will just pull the areas out. 
you can change brush size and strength and stuff to do that sort of thing it's kind of like a smudge tool this one will zoom in it'll pinch uh, pinch the image it'll zoom it in so and it'll preserve it so here we'll make it a little bigger we'll kind of pinch that in as you can see I'm shrinking things a little bit you know if I want to make her eyes a little smaller there this one will zoom it out does the exact opposite so I can blow it back out make her eyes a little bigger and this one will is the recover tool it'll recover any stupid mistake I made and bring everything back to the way it was before now the nice thing they also have is this protect brush which will protect backgrounds uh, if you've watched if you've seen any of those photoshopped images on Facebook uh, you know they use the twists and the zooms and the, the blowouts and things like that but you see the background image got screwed up in the process so I'll, I'll show that in the next photo but for this one the next thing they have is the mesh tool now what this will do is this will actually add a grid so that you preserve the integrity of the photo and you'll just pick any one of the grids and you can move it in there and as you can see it'll take that portion of the photo and actually move it in the direction that you're trying to go so it'll keep everything sequential which is nice and if you don't like that you can actually add your own so you know say I want to get rid of this bump right here at the bottom I'll add my own point down here and pull it upwards like that pull it in a little bit and it preserves the integrity of the of the photo so if you do a little before and after you can see I pulled it in so it's not sticking out as much and let's show the protect tool now this is just a simple wedding photo here kinda like the one I showed earlier if we hit this protect tool here let's say we want to take her waist in we want to protect everything over here so that you don't see this get all messed up in the process so we have our protect tool and then let's kind of try to pull that waist in a little bit just like that now if we go to the before after and if I turn this mask off as you can see it preserved everything back there there's no changes nothing got sucked inwards or anything like that and it made it look a lot nicer she has a more curved contoured waist there